Welcome back. 12 days of Christmas. Magic! Yeah, so we're back. We're doing vintage today. Um, I have my spy mask deck. Link in the description. And I have my survival of the fittest deck. Yeah. Link in the description. Yeah, so excited about this one. Haven't played vintage in a while. So it has been a very little long time. A little bit of holiday vintage here. So I've got emotional animals. Haven't done that in a while. I love doing this. It's one of my favorite ones. So who wins in a fight? Will it be a happy frog? Or will it be a, a happy, happy turtle. turtle? Well, turtles obviously wins yeah, bad. Turtles probably just gonna eat the frog. Yeah. I, I don't know how a frog possibly wins against a turtle. Just get in there, I guess, if it's small enough. I don't know, but you'll go first and we'll see you in game one. Alrighty, game one. You're first. I am. <laughs> you forgot, didn't you? I already forgot. So we've got... Those. Whoop. And for me. That's what I have. All right. It's going to be a burden catacomb and your go. Draw. Oh, crap well. that now. Well then. Um Hmm. I don't like hearing that. Nor should you, I don't think. I mean, I think I just have to go for this, right? Yeah, I mean, you even gave me an island. Flood Strand, 19. You mean I gave you an island? You gave me an island. <laughs> For my island walker that I'm about to have. Oh, God. <laughs> I think I take that one, because otherwise you just uh, detention it next turn, potentially. So, yeah, I was all prepared to have, like, a sort of setup turn, but now I'm just going to do this. Soul Ring. Black Lotus, which I drew. Um, let's see here. Yeah, no point really making any more of that. So, uh, yeah, we'll make three blue. Tinker Soul Ring. <laughs> and you have to now deal with... Hey, where is he? Ink Wall of Ivan. 7-Eleven. Go ahead. <laughs> Oh, thank heaven. Drop return. Okay, Verdant Catacombs. We're going to pack that going to 18. And here is the bayou. Survival of the fittest. Yep. Enter, go. Untap. Draw. Seven. Go to eleven. Mm. Judge is familiar. Go ahead. Untap. Draw for turn. Tropical Island. Mox Emerald. Mm -hmm. uh, activate Survival of the Fittest, discarding Avenger Line. Yep. That's pretty good. So we shall find... Avenger Line. And uh, then let's uh, discard that Vengevine to find a creature. Sure. We're going to find a Vengevine? Yep. And then we're going to discard that Vengevine and find a creature? Mm-hmm. 
we're going to find a Bastion Root Walla. Yep. And then we're going to discard that yep. to find a creature, but then we're going to pay the Madness cost. Yes. And you've discarded quite a few things this turn. So uh, we're going to find a Hollow One? Yep. And that should be our last search for the turn. Well, you're out of mana. So yeah. It will be. <laughs> I thought my turn one was good. I mean, I guess this is your turn three? Yes. Turn three. Still pretty good, though. <laughs> Turns out. And uh, it costs uh, six less to cast. Yep. Here's a hollow one. And second uh, cast. that was my second creature spell cast this turn. Yes. Twelve you. <laughs> Block four of it. Take eight. Going to eleven. Ow. And it is your go. Yeah, I don't think this Inky's gonna <laughs> get the job done now. Um Hmm. Yeah, that's not good either. Can I even survive another hit? I know I can't even survive another hit. So I will attack you for seven. I will go to four. And here's a cigar to Zig. Go. <laughs> Untap. Drop return. See, sometimes in vintage, even broken <laughs> stuff's not that broken. I was playing around the detention sphere type guy. I don't remember his name. But oh, the, uh, yeah, to exile the yeah, steel. by not getting uh, the yeah. steel. If you had gone the other route, I did have a Sylvan Scrying, so I had to go fetch a oh, sure. maze of it. Yeah. So. so this was a good call. So this was a good call. <laughs> right, deal with it. <laughs> Just, I had the survival of this. Well, here is a Leobold. Yep. And, uh... Swing. Smash, monkey, smash! <laughs> yeah, you got me. Whew. All right, so... <laughs> had, like, a ton of mana on turn one, but it was temporary. It was te it yeah. was fleeting. <laughs> Tinkered it all the way. Yep. So, that was game one, and we'll see you in game two. All right, game two. Show my hands. This is what I'm working with. Go ahead. And we've got... Those. Whoop. Alright, so... Here is a Tundra. Here is a Judge's Familiar. Here is a Mox Pearl. Go. Drop it Burned catacombs. We're gonna crack that going to 19. Mm -hmm. It's gonna find us a tropical island. That is instant sorcery? Yes. Yeah, survival's fine, creatures are fine. And this Mox Jet is also fine. Yes. It and is. here is a survival. Okay. Enter go. End of your turn, and Lightning Tutor for Sigarda's Aid. Well, that's, uh... Could be a little worrying. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so that goes on top. On tap. Draw. Wow, a cigar design. Who would have guessed? Cast that, and you're tapped out. So hammer attached to familiar. Thirteen. Or sorry, uh, eleven. <laughs> eleven. Not thirteen. I go to eight. <laughs> I don't know why I thought he was a three three. Go ahead. Untap. Draw for her. Um, not a very good. Burnt catacombs. Hmm? Crack that going to seven. I mean, if you have creatures in your hand, you're probably sad. Pro 
probably do some shenanigans. Here is a savanna. Yes. Yeah, luckily it does lose flying. Mm -hmm. It's a heavy hammer. It's just not strong enough. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar, though, you can do a fun trick with this. With Cigar to Zeta, you can flash it into play. So yeah, you so can attack for one in the air, let them declare that they can't block it, and then flash the hammer in. So it's effectively unblockable for one strike. For one strike. But now you can be chumped. This little 11-11. Who could? <laughs> and, uh... Here's a deputy of detention who's going to take that hammer from you. Swoop. He can fly again. <laughs> can fly again. Enter go. Untap. Draw. Flooded strands. Two mana. Stoneforge Mystic. <laughs> go get a hammer. <laughs> uh, God damn it. I mean, there's a lot of versions of this card in the deck, so... So I took the judges familiar, but I thought, <laughs> well, just take the hammer. There's only two in the deck, too, so... Yeah. But, I mean, you have all the ways to fetch it. True. Yeah. But I, I at least knew you weren't going to enlighten... Well, I guess you could have on your upkeep enlightened two or two. Yeah, I could have, which is... Yeah, I should have took the so judges familiar. Grab a tundra. And then I will attack you for one in the air. Uh, yeah, I can't block. Oh, you can't block? Flash in a Colossus Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Attach it to the judge's familiar. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna kill me. Woo! <laughs> Didn't even That's... get to finish shuffling. Alright! So that was game two, and we will see you in game three! Vintage! <laughs> Alright, game three. Go ahead. We've got... Those... Ooh. And for me. That's what I have. That sucks. But. Oh well. A wooded foothills, which will find a tropical island and then a death rite shaman? Yep. Enter go. Draw. Okay. Not the worst thing I've ever seen. Um, yeah, I think do that first, probably. So here's a Tundra and a Lotus Petal Crack for white. Stoneforge Mystic. We will go fetch... A... Unexciting Batter Skull. This is very boring. Go ahead. I wanted to spike it. I have one in my hand. <laughs> I, which I feel fine telling you. I don't really care. Untap. Drop return. Here's a bayou. Exile that for a blue. Yep. Green, black. Leo. Leo. And it is your go. Adapt. Draw. Where were you a long time ago, my friend? Mm. Here's a flooded strand. Here's a cigar to Zade. Go. Untap. I think that's whenever equipment enters, so you can even pay the two and... Equip a batter skull that way to something that's not a germ token. Mm -hmm. Well, here is a crocus. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, I don't think that really does anything against you. No, it doesn't. Fortunately, so, Mask of the Mimic uh, <laughs> specifies not, not legendary. legendary so. Yeah. so really, it's just well, wrong. Just a planes against wrong. you. I have one Hope of Garapor. That's <gasps> a legendary creature. <laughs> so somehow that ends up with a hammer on it. Yes. I gotcha. You got me. <laughs> And, uh, go to... Yeah, you only have one mana? Yeah. 
You don't have any Elvish Mystics, so I think I feel comfortable attacking you for three. I feel comfortable taking three. Sixteen. And, uh... Here is another Death Rate Shaman. Okay. Enter go. Um, I'm actually going to counter that because I'm running out <gasps> of counter targets. So I'm going to counter that with a land instead of life. So just go to 15, grab a Tundra. Counter that for mana. Pay one mana instead of two. Or one life instead of two, essentially. Yeah. Got nothing else to do for one. If I had a hammer, I probably would have flashed it in and yeah. blocked your Leobold, so... Untap! Draw a card. Hmm. Go. End of your turn, eat your mentalist step. Yum. You you lose two life. Thirteen. Untap. Upkeep. Drop return. Um that seems uh seems pretty good. Here is a collector Ophi. Hmm. Fortunately Sigarda's aid's attaching equipment yeah. kind of uh <laughs> circumvents me turning off the equip costs. It's true. Yeah, that's fine. And, uh... Got nothing against that. I guess I can pay like that, since that's... Yeah, Karak is <laughs> doing a lot. And it is your go. Wisely not attacking. Um... Yeah, I think Batter Skull. Would you like to attach the Batter Skull to a Stoneforge Mystic? I would not like to do that. Thank you. I'll just take a germ. Is it good? Yeah. Untap. Draw. Man. What is with this ordering? It sucks. Um. Smash four? Uh, yeah, we're gonna take four. 17. 15. Go. End of your turn, gonna eat my death rate, Shaman. Sure. Gain two life. Go back up to 16. Untap. Oh, no, sorry, 17. Draw for turn. Um. Exile your flooded strand. Mana. Cast a venue fine. Sure. <laughs> and I can't race you because you have the lifelink, so it's your go. End of turn. Two mana. Here is a spy kit. So, it's a guard as aid. We'll attach it to Germ, I think. Germ. Unzap. Draw. So now Germ is everything in the world. All non legendary. Mm -hmm. It's not a Leovold, but it is a Death Rate Shaman and a Vengevine and a Collector Ophi. It's true. And also, it gets plus one plus one. Also, it's, it's, it's an yeah. Johnny's Pride made a Goblin Ringleader. Yeah, it's a Mere Servitor. <laughs> it's a Spark Double. <laughs> um, it's a Polyraptor. It's just all the things, mm -hmm. but only in name. Here's a Mox Sapphire, which it's, I can't it's just It's just a stolen identity. It's not actually ability. Mm -hmm. It's just identity. The FBI is going to be all over that germ. Attack for five. <sighs> five is annoying. Um, I think... <sighs> he jammed something else on that, like a half. <laughs> <laughs> block for seven. Double block, huh? Okay, so here's what's going to happen now. I'm going to cast Mask of the Mimic, sacrificing this Stoneforge Mystic to make a copy of this Inkwell Leviathan. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, so 
What are these? Both threes, so I'll take out the Leovold. Goodbye, Leovold. And I will gain... Five life. Five life. Going to... 22. Go ahead. And I got to do it! <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> Untap. Did and you have a very annoying ink well Leviathan. He's a big boy. Verdant Catacombs. Crack that going to 16. Oh, we already have an island. So I think getting another trop is fine. Inconveniently for me, I can't attach anything to him. Yes, can't use those equipped abilities. And because of this oof, I can't even return my battle batter skull. Yeah, or use that mock sapphire. Yeah. It's just sitting there and looking pretty. It is. In blue. And uh invoking water. I guess we just cast here is another Vengeva. Sure. And this is your go. Alright. Untap. Draw. Okay. Flooded Strand. Crack that. 21. This one I think will just be... Yeah, screw it. Another Tundra. Actually sure why I did that first. Attack you for seven. Uh, I think that go to nine. Here's a judge's familiar. And here is a core outfitter, which will attach batter skull to judge's familiar. And that conveniently gets around collector oof. Yes, yes it does. Go ahead. Untap. Drop return. <sighs> Bleh. Bleh. Crack <laughs> that going to eight. You have a flying 5-5. Five, five. I'm just so happy that I got to cast Mask of the Mimic with a spike hit. Yeah. <laughs> I think my life is complete now. I'll just get it by you. Sure. We have our white mana. Yeah. And, uh... Hmm. I mean, if you have the removal guy, you could take out the batter skull. Fortunately, I do not. That is kind of my issue. I don't think anything I can do this turn will help. Yeah, unless you have, like, a gush to get rid of your <laughs> tropical islands at instant speed. So here is a hollow one. Okay. Full cost. See, I, yeah, I got all I got all these, You could have. You could have. didn't get the... You could have cycled into that guy, maybe. Oh, I guess I could try that. Because you're, that. I mean, you are just dead to unlock that is my damage, own. so. Cycle. Ah. <laughs> so close. Okay. <laughs> Good. Uh, well, I can go to 10 and I take 11. Take 12. Stone Forge must have in there. I'm gonna eat your Stone Forge Mystic. Okay. Is it tasty? It was very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, a little bit of cannibalism. Good. Oh, attacks! Four. You mean eight? Eight. I will block with my 5-5. Five five yeah. For one of them. And I'll take four and gain five, going to 22. Enter go. Give me something good! Well, that's not good. I wanted to do something else this turn. Okay. Well, boring, but I will take it. Attack! Dead. Yeah. Not, oh, you had the not light, a great. You had the light steel in hand. I had the light steel in hand. <laughs> Actually, since turn one. So, I was operating at a bit of a deficit, but the rest of the hand was breathable, so. Woo! I'm just happy I got to do my Spice Kit shenanigans. Uh, now, would I suggest you play this deck at, like, a tournament or something? <laughs> Hell no! But 
if you want to cast some cards that are like almost borderline unhinged cards, this is the deck for you. This is the deck for you. <laughs> you also have to have access to vintage cards, which is uh, true. An impossibility is now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that was this matchup, and we will see you back tomorrow for some more 12 Days of Christmas. Bye. Bye.